Hey, welcome to our podcast, Spill the Lesson, a show where we talk about relevant topics in our Punjabi community, catered to the current generation. I'm your host, Manjir Singh, joined by Arjun Singh. We are starting a podcast called Spill the Lesson. Now, the motivation behind this podcast is mainly that our community has been through a lot of milestones in the past few years, starting with the Kassan movement and Deep Sidhu getting killed in an accident and the latest tragedy, which is Sidhu Musela's murder. Now, the main reason for this podcast is that we noticed that there was a huge lack of connection with the information being given by these traditional media sources in Punjab. So for example, me personally, I noticed I was very passionate in all of the events that are happening with the Kassan movement. You know, there were daily updates and all of these crazy, crazy things that are happening in the motherland with the Deep Sidhu's uh, accident and Sidhu Musel's murder and all the developments. And usually it would go something like me coming home and I would notice the TVs on It'd be my parents turning on, you know, Punjab, pro Punjab, Akal television, or one of those traditional media uh, news channels. And I would kind of chill out in the living room, do my thing, and I would watch it in the background. And I would get a lot of the sources of the information coming from those channels. But the point is, the problem was, I personally would never turn those on. And that's when I realized that there was a huge disconnect with just me being somebody that was born and raised and this goes along with everybody else that was born and raised in Canada or the UK or any other parts of the states that they do have a huge passion of what's happening but there's just that lack of connection that lack of output for information yeah absolutely I I couldn't agree more I mean I think it's not likely that you know Punjabi youth in the diaspora are going to be turning on Ajda Mudda or you know some of these shows on Just Punjabi or PTC um, to get their news um, about what's happening in Punjab um, and a lot of that is honestly because you know unfortunately a lot of youth uh, in the diaspora for a variety of circum you know reasons and circumstances don't don't speak Punjabi um, and I think you know, kind of going along with that, you have a situation where a lot of misinformation or, or simply lack of adequate information, um, you know, kind of gets perpetuated because people are getting their um, information from forwarded WhatsApp messages uh, or social media stories, uh, some of which can be all fine and good. Um, there's some solid sources on on Instagram and, and some of these other sources. Um, but it's not really enough to form, you know, fact-based cohesive opinions on some of these very important issues that are happening in Punjab and and in the Punjabi diaspora. Yeah. And, you know, on that note, it's not that there is a lack of information, right? It's not that people aren't covering this, journalists aren't covering this. It is covered by traditional media. And, you know, like you said, through WhatsApp, right? If it's a news clip, that's, that's, sent on whatsapp or it's a news clip on instagram or you know you're just watching the entire presentation on youtube the disconnect happens not with the resources available but the amount of penetration it has with people in our subcategory now i'm specifically talking about people that were you know either born and raised or currently living that are in our age demographic, right? We're kind of younger and it's just a turn off to watch these things. What I mean by that is like you watch these, these Punjabi news channels and the information is really there. It's really informative, but it's done in such an old school way that it looks like you're, you're time warped into the 80s. And it's just, you know, very rigid and it's very dry. And it's also like very like lecture style. So what I'm trying to say is the presentation of this media is not aimed for our group, right? Which is a huge, huge part of the Punjabi community of people that are interested in events happening, but is catered to the older demographic, which would be, you know, our parents or our uncles or the older generation, which is all good and fine. But there is that lack of platform, people, people that are interested and want to learn more about what's going on in uh, the Sangat, in the Punjabi community right now. Absolutely. I think this really is the podcast generation. I mean, there's, there's a reason so many of these mainstream American podcasts have become some of the most popular forms of media consumption and news consumption as well. 
um, you know, these are just very easily digestible methods of, you know, gaining, you know, potentially facts and knowledge and news. Um, and I think that could apply uh, to a Punjabi youth in the diaspora uh, just as well. Yeah. So basically, um, that's one of the reasons, well, the main reason we're getting this podcast started. So what you can expect from us moving forward in the next feed podcast is we're going to be covering the legacy of Sidhu. So basically his life and uh, his influence, the controversy of his murder. So all of the points A to Z, uh, things that are talked about in the media, things that are given and things that are not spoken about in the media. His influence on politics and the most important part was the exposure in his latest song, SYL, and basically the results of that. What was what was the response from, you know, the Sangat? What was the response from the central government? And what does this basically mean moving forward? What is the importance of SYL? And how could have that influenced Sidhu's legacy if he was still alive? Um, so there's just some, some of the topics we're going to be digging a lot more into uh, topics along those lines. Uh, it's going to be done in a similar format to this, stimulating conversation, very casual, and we just hope you enjoy the journey with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.